another month has passed. Another month has passed where I uh, spent a really long amount of time before actually getting out any of the patron videos. But on the plus side, another month ends with Action 52. So before I start, just a quick recap here. I've got some save states lined up of games I haven't finished. I think these are the only three. Um, so here's Dead Whale Carcass Game, which I stopped playing because it got really fucking boring. Um, I could keep going with it, but I never saw the point. I don't even remember the name of this one. Then I have uh, Space Lobster Game, where I stopped because this game has entirely too many goddamn levels, and you can't do anything about it when the enemies get at the bottom of the screen. Um... And then we have Micro Mike, which we all know Micro Mike. We all know and love Micro Mike. This is exactly why I stopped playing this one. At some point, I may eventually go back and try to clear these, but that day is not today. So instead, we're going to be moving on to our next one in the list, which is Cry Baby. Um, surprisingly, less to do with space dreams and more to do with uh, French Baker and chill out, if I remember right. Yeah. Alright, so our enemies are wads of like, tinfoil. And also just random dudes running back and forth. And I dare you to freaking... Oh god, I forgot about that guy. Have I seen that enemy before? The weird, like... 1940s businessman doing the Charleston. No, like, I don't know what that, what you would call that dance. But um, what I was trying to say is I dare you to find any kind of sense in the like layout of this area. Uh, okay, I guess just wandering into the guy kills him. So we've got uh, this building apparently has at least four floors on it. They're separated by ice cubes. Okay. Now they're no longer ice cubes. Now they're those, like, novelty Kool-Aid... Or, no, no, those are, like, Jello squares. I, I, anyone ever make ice cubes out of, like, Kool-Aid and stuff? I don't know. But... Um... You get between the different floors by climbing on furniture, which lets you phase through the floors. And I surprisingly cannot climb the mirror... However, I might be able to, like, tackle the... Oh. Th that counted as a death. Okay. Um, I might be able to, like, tackle the mirror by fighting the, uh, the mirror boy. And then, like, go through into the dimension where Dee Dee is a ballet dancer or whatever the fuck. I don't even... I All I remember is Cold and Oldies, the store that sells frozen yogurt and antiques. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then just don't worry about it. I like how this guy just kind of spawns and then goes and sits over in the like. What would you call that? I think there was a. I think there was an item in Pikmin 2 that was something similar to that. It's like just some weird Japanese tablet thing that opens up. Yeah, it just. It's apparently just an, an entrapment all up on the moon. Entrapment all up on the moon. We're gonna go with that one. Up oh, the uh, wad of tinfoil has appeared over there, whatever will we do. I'll just do this for a bit. Alright. Are we having fun yet? Oh, okay. It's always so jarring when I beat a stage. So yeah, I do have a health bar at the top, which is kind of astonishing for Action 52, honestly. Usually it's just more of a uh, get hit an arbitrary number of times that you have no way of knowing and then the game is over kind of thing. This one at least gives you a visual indication, which is surprising but nice. So um, included on this floor we have... Um, in addition to the usual arrangement of weird furniture, we also have lamps. Um, one of which seems to be turned on, because the one on the top floor seems to be brighter than the one on the 
like, one below it. Which, again, I'm not sure why they bothered with different sprites on that. Um, this guy up here is just preventing, pro like, any way of getting up there, so I've got to keep that in mind. But there's also just kind of a pit on the far left side of the, uh, like, second floor from the top. So not only can you get between floors by, uh, climbing furniture, but you can also just drop down the pit. Although you would probably hit the air and die if you did that. But yeah, the, uh, the 1940s businessman doing the Charleston is reminding me of the, um, the Tiny Cup from, uh, Night Claws, no, Nightshade, The Claws of Hell, or whatever the hell that name of that game was. Yeah, I was kind of expecting that. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Well, this, uh, okay, let's try that again. This game already has more levels than most of the other ones of this genre. I don't even know what you'd call this. Just the climb around on floors and kill randomly spawning stuff. Illuminator was also in this category. And actually, now that I think about it, I think Illuminator was another game that I haven't beaten. At the very end of this series, I may have to go back and redo some of those. I don't think I beat Illuminator. I don't remember. Did it crash, or did it just become impossible? It's been too long. But yeah, I'm really hoping that this game doesn't uh, take a page from Space Dreams in the I'm going to have 900 levels since. Oh, enemy just spawned inside me. That's cool. This guy is just kind of running back and forth over by the disgusting red plaid... I, I was going to call that a couch. I guess it's more of like a lazy boy. Also, there's just kind of a... I don't know if that's an oven or like a washing machine on the far left there, but it's got an interesting color scheme going on at the very least. Oh god, I hate games like this one. They're so... Oh, fucking level 5, really? What, did they really just like the concept of this one? Where you're a extraordinarily large baby climbing furniture and squirting people from different decades with a bottle of milk. I, I still don't know what these things are supposed to be. I kept calling them crumpled up tinfoil. The only thing that is like related to babies that I could think of is like a dirty diaper. I hope that's not what that is, but if it is and squirting it with milk gets rid of it, then I guess that's uh, something new that we've learned today. Surprisingly, dirty diapers and uh, meat, or no, the goblins from, oh, what the hell? The goblins from Ernest Scared Stupid have the same weakness, meak. All right, um, that was a, I, I enjoyed that reference that I made because I've never seen that movie. Or if I have seen it, it was a very long time ago and I don't remember anything of it. But I am hip and with the times. By which I mean I can make references to movies that the Nostalgia Critic has reviewed like 10 years ago and James Rolfe made a reference to in one of his like overanalyzers videos. Anyone else remember those? I know for some reason a bunch of people hated the one girl's German accent and he like forced her to get rid of it <laughs> and drew attention to it in the process. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's kind of hard to explain, but basically, like, she had this weird accent in the first season, and there were a bunch of comments bitching about it for no real reason, and in the first episode of the second season, he's, like, teaching her how to speak properly, and he's like, yeah, people hate that shit, apparently. My favorite episode of that will always be the one with the Easter Bunny, uh, like having chocolate. Like, I, I don't remember if they determined that they were chocolate eggs or if they were balls of shit that just burst out of his chest like aliens. Um, I, I don't even know. It was 
It was kind of glorious. I think most people didn't care for that show very much. I find it kind of entertaining, though. Can we be done? I didn't even see what the next game was. Whatever it is, it's probably better than this. Actually, that's a very, very risky statement to say when talking about Action 52, because there's an extremely high chance that it is not better than this. Alright, can we get past the Charleston? <laughs> can we get... <laughs> oh! Okay, I don't know if that was me dying, or if that was me beating the game and progressing back to level 1. I think that was me beating the game. Let me see, if I touch him, he probably dies. Yeah, if I fall from a great height, by which I mean three pixels, then I die and it's game over. Okay, so yeah, that was beating the game. Good. So let's, let's actually beat it, instead of getting a game over, and we're done. Never have to touch this shit again. Slashers. Isn't this like a beat-em-up? I don't even remember this one. God, yeah, I remember this one now. <laughs> so in this one where you, yeah, here's Spider-Man. So you, you beat up Spider-Man, and you occasionally beat up prostitutes, and that's pretty much the game. Yeah. Now, I'm taking a lot less damage than I expected, because what I remember of this game is basically you're forced to get into encounters, you have no way of avoiding them, and you just kind of trade attacks and hope that you don't die. Okay, that time I actually took some damage. I don't know if there's any reason to choose one attack over the other, because I have Awkward Punch and Awkward Kick. Awkward Kick is a lot more awkward looking than Awkward Punch. But, uh, I think this might actually be the most tedious game so far. And that's saying a lot, but I'm probably forgetting one. Like, at least with other ones, there was a certain amount of bullshit to keep you distracted. Except for the space shooters. Those were usually pretty straightforward. How many of the same enemies must I fight before I get to the end of this incredibly long building? Can I take more than two steps before getting stopped by Spider-Man? Probably not. Oh, this is bad. God, what is this? Now, is it completely random, or how does this work? I'm just going to keep spamming the attack. <sighs> Guys, I don't know if this one can be controlled. Okay, why did I take damage that time? Let me, let me die to the prostitute. Now, I'm just going to spam A and B as quickly as possible and see. Basically, every time I get through a fight without damage, I'm going to have to save state. Because I don't know how much it can be helped. Like, ugh. I like how I said I was going to save state after every fight, and then I immediately forgot to do it. Maybe it's just every certain amount of time that passes, you're forced to get a hit. Or, like, I'm just not attacking on the right fr I think I'm just not attacking on the right frame. Now, see, I like it when I can take about at least four steps before another enemy shows up. Oh, ooh, that was a... That was a big jump there. I actually made, like, a couple feet of progress. None of this take one step and then get attacked by Spider-Man stuff. There, there is nothing I can say about this game. There is a large number of what appear to be, like... 
German Steins of Mead. No, I don't even know what, why I said that. Like, okay, I'll take that damage. I don't care. I, I, I don't know why they're specifically German. If they are, it would probably be beer. But just like I know those are, those are supposed to be those like spinning. What are, what are those like air duct things? But there's a large quantity of them. Ugh. Does this game even have levels, or is it just endless? Stop that. God, my fingers are already getting tired from this. Also, why is this called Slashers? I'm pretty sure nobody is slashing here. Nobody has any knives. Ugh. This is just... I'm gonna go up on this rooftop and fuck up a bunch of people for no reason. The game. I will awkwardly gesticulate at them for a few seconds until they disappear in a bloody explosion. Oh, oh, I got to the end of level one. Now we're in a garage? And what does that say? Bobway? I'm sure it says something. I would love to know what. Oh, Spider-Man's back. I wasn't sure if we were going to get different palette-swapped enemies. We might actually get a third enemy if we're lucky. <laughs> we're probably not going to, but you never know. They did add, like, an extra instrument to the song. And they got rid of the, uh, the beer steins. Oh, this is boring as shit. I don't even have anything interesting to talk about in the meantime. Not that I can think of, at least. Like, for me, something interesting is... I went to a weird ice cream place the other night, which was a story I told in the last Pokemon Yellow video. And that was not even an interesting store. Oh, it's a subway. That would make more sense than Bobway. Not sure why I thought Bobway. Stop that. Yeah. Stop fucking Spider-Man. Come on. Yep, button mashing saves the day. Oh god, it's a third enemy. It's... Bluto from Popeye. Or something to that extent. And is there only one of him? No, no, there's another. Also, this doesn't actually look like Bluto. I just didn't know what else to call him. God damn it. Okay, level three. And we're back to the rooftop. Getting uh, back to our comfort zone, I say. Oh. Why? Why? Just why? I like her, uh, like, stomping animation. It's pretty good. Animation, in quotes. No, I, I'm not, I'm not taking that damage. So here's the real question. Is that a, uh, recoloration of the sprite from Haunted Hill. Because, like, I'd have to look at them side by side to really be able to tell. But for some reason, I'd just... I, I'd be surprised if the developers of this game made more than one, like, human female. <laughs> I don't know. She, she does have the boobs for it. Okay. Also, you cannot convince me that that's not Spider-Man. I'm sorry. It, the, the coloration is too perfect. And I've never heard anybody made that make that connection before either. Like, maybe it's just... Maybe the color looks different when you're playing this on a TV. Or maybe, I ha maybe they have made that connection and I just forgot because this game is so fucking boring. But, uh, speaking of Spider-Man, though, um... I would like to point out that 
in a shopping center near us. Um, and keeping in mind, this is Texas, where it's like a hundred fucking degrees outside in the sun in the summer. Um, on most days. But, uh, yesterday and a week before, I think, so it must just be, like, on Saturdays they do this, there's, like, there's a dude in a Batman costume and a Spider-Man costume. Like, really highly detailed, good-looking ones. Um, hanging out, like, in front of the road, just in front of the shopping center. And there's also an extremely elaborate like, Bumblebee from Transformers costume. Like, I, I would be tempted to say that it just is a robot, but it's not. It's obviously a dude in a suit. It's just a really good-looking one. Um, but, like, they just kind of have these there, and I think they're there for people to take pictures with, but the pictures cost, like, 20 bucks. It, I don't know what it's for. Like, I'm not sure what the money is going towards. I just, I just kind of saw them out there. They're just being there, probably dying of heat stroke. <sighs> Uptown. God, my fucking hand. Ugh, crack them knuckles. This is so bad. So I said it with, uh, Crybaby, and I'm gonna say it with this one. I really hope the next game is better. I don't know what qualifies as better in Action 52. I guess just something that you can make fun of more easily. And the gameplay isn't just... Take one step, and then spam A! Like... Let's see. The gameplay in Action 52 has usually boiled down to either if it's a space shooter, just try not to die. If it's a platformer, try not to die. If it's one of those, like, climb around and hit stuff games, try not to die. And in this game, basically just try not to die, honestly. It more, though it's more button mash as soon as somebody walks in your vicinity. Um... Have those been all the genres of games? H have there been others? I mean, there's there's Myong, but that one is literally Try Not to Die the game, because you have very little control over it, other than just memorize what path is safe. God, freaking Myong. Oh, well, there's the exit, apparently. The game was uh, nice enough to let me know. Let's have one more uh, prostitute fight for the road. And one more Spider-Man. Come on. Why does this game get five levels? Non-human only had one. That one at least... could have had the potential to be interesting, because I have no idea what I was looking at. This one, I know what I'm looking at, I just don't want it. Like, I've seen everything there was to see in the first freaking minute of this. Well, except for Bluto. He didn't show up until level 2, but I've seen enough of him now. Please say this is the last stage. Although, um... Again, I gave them credit with Crybaby. I'll say it for this one. At least they included a health bar. I don't know why the health bar is represented by a strip of bacon. No, it's not even bacon. What is that, like, Pez? Like... <laughs> or just a spine? Like, I can't... I don't know why each chunk of health is, like, a rectangle of beige and then a rectangle of red. But, whatever. So is this different from levels 1 and 3 in the sense that the bricks on the walls are now occasionally not brown? They decided to get rid of the brown bricks and add more moin cramp. Original jokes here, folks. No, they, they might even have had that coloration in the other versions of the stages. I haven't been paying that much attention. Oh, game over. Good. Oh, look, it's Crazy Shuffle.
my favorite. What the hell is Crazy Shuffle? Oh shit, it's this one. The one where your sprite is like four pixels. Oh god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, get the cross. Oh, get the finger pointing right. Yeah, 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 shoot the pixels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This crazy shuffle, all right. Oh, I... Okay, I... All right, well, I now know to not touch the purple flowers, because they make you explode. Oh, my... Are, are these power-ups? What are these? If they are power-ups, what are they doing for me? Oh, well, that was level one, apparently. Okay. Do -do -do. There's another finger. I found a finger in my wallet. That's disgusting. I like that enemy trapped in the bottom there. Why is not? Why is that one not dying from the purple flowers? Are these birds? I cannot tell what any of the sprites on screen are supposed to be. They kind of look like birds, but I don't think they are. I think they're supposed to be like UFOs. At least it's not difficult. What, does this one get only three stages, but Slashers gets five? I'm guessing that's going to be the case. Although I don't know which I prefer, because at least this one isn't hard. Well, not as hard as some of the others. Um, it's not particularly interesting, but at least the music is incredibly stupid and worth listening to. <laughs> Peter, Peter. Nope, we got at least four. Crazy Shuffle! I know, I'll talk about Pokemon Shuffle some more. I don't really have much to say about it. I sure have been keeping up with it. Kind of. I'm still on, uh... the repeat Gardevoir stage. Uh, did I win? I think I was on stage four, so I think I won. Why is there a path going left if you can't go left? Alright, let's reset that one, I guess. I like how I spawn inside a wall. Oh, I can go further into the wall, but as soon as I leave it... I can never go back. It's like a metaphor for life. Wait. No, it's not at all. So, when I first saw this level layout, like, not this one specifically, but just for this entire game, my first thought was golf course, but it really isn't one. I'm not sure what I would call this. It's... Vomit. Maybe. Like, I, I don't even know. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Okay, why are the enemies impossible to hit in this one? I, I'd still love to know what these power-ups are doing for me. <sighs> Crazy shuffle! <laughs> please. Please just die so I can be done with this one. I think Storm Over the Desert is coming up soon, and we can get political all up in this his house. Up, oh, up. Oh, I, I finally took enough hits to arbitrarily die. Boom! Why is this one impossible to hit? There we go. Level 6, okay. Well, it's no longer vomit, and now it's just, like, antifreeze. Nah, it's still vomit. Who are we kidding? Oh, and the purple flowers have now turned into pink ones. Okay, so here's my... Here's my guess at what's happening here. The flowers that I'm referring to are black holes, and the vomit or antifreeze, or golf course, or whatever I'm calling the walls here, 
are supposed to be like a nebula, and we're just in space. Because I think those are supposed to be UFOs. I, I don't know what the hell I am. Oh. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Either way, game's done. Don't ever need to worry about it again. Oh shit, it's fuzz power. Oh, whoop, we got a good one here. God, I don't think I want to do fuzz power. I do like the music in Fuzz Power. I'll give it that much. <laughs> Oh. Oh my god, this is shit. This is some real shit. Okay, let's try this again. So, I'm playing as this, and I jump on meatballs, and have to kill... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> to kill hair care products. Because I don't want them to get rid of my hair, because then I become extremely disturbing look. Oh, shit, no. Wait, what's that thing on the top left? I can't be a health bar, because I thought my health bar was just visually how much hair I have. Does stuff just... Hold on. I'm just going to kind of bum rush it. All right. I think going quick is probably my best option here. Okay, yeah, I've lost my hair, but I still have all six gray dots. So what do those represent? What the fuck is that? That's not lives, is it? Hold on. No, it's not. I think it's just a health bar that doesn't work. Ugh. Good to see we've uh, adopted the throw a bunch of shit in your path that you can't deal with method of platform design. Oh, god damn, this is bad. Th th there was a reason I didn't want to play Fuzz Power. One of the reasons is because you turn into an extremely creepy naked man when you take damage, but, uh... This is the other one. Hey, look, it's Mario. Oh, wait, okay. We're no longer fighting hair dryers and combs, now we're fighting people in hoods? Like, what? Shit. How do you get past this? Oh, I actually did well there somehow. Nope, oh, nope, never mind. I like how when I saw this, I'm like, it's Mario now. They adopted an extremely basic amount of, like, level architecture that isn't just a flat road with pits, and therefore they are copying Mario. Okay, so what is this enemy? No, it's not a person in a hood. I think it's a green blob with a big eye and, like, a line mouth with legs. I still don't know what that has to do with anything, because... You know, combs. <laughs> I'd kill myself too if my last name was Combs! Kinda hoping this level ends soon. I know it's not going to. Whoever designed this game is an asshole! <laughs> also, I like the occasional pieces of popcorn that appear in the sky. They're pretty good. Oh, okay, level two. Is it the same as level one? I think it is. So far, not as many enemies. I take that back immediately. So, um, fun story about this song. Um, I'm pretty sure it has been abandoned since, uh the last year that it was being worked on, but, uh, at some point, uh, Joel was challenged to a YouTube poop tennis by one of his friends, and, uh, one of the things he was including in the video was, uh, 
Uh, was that just the Ziki bomb? I don't even know. But, um, one of the things he was including was like a remix of this song, um, using JonTron noises. I don't remember which one specifically. But, uh, it was pretty high quality. I'll have to see if I can find that song and maybe put it in the video. I like the Ziki bomb, it's my favorite enemy so far. Also, it took me this long to realize this, but there's there's different enemies for combs and brushes. Also, I, I'm assuming that's a comb. It could just as easily be, like, a cheese grater or a harp. Like, I don't know what that is, but it's probably a comb. Okay, level three. And it made, like, the sound of me taking damage when I appeared in the stage, but I don't think that's the... Oh, shit. Fucking fuzz power. Hey, you know what? You know what we should do? We should spawn in, like, six enemies at once. It'll be awesome. They won't know what to do. Okay, let's just clamp... Um... All right, all right, I'll... I'll bite, game. What do you want me to do here? I can't double jump. I can't jump higher than one block. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Is this just the end of the game? Okay. I'm always astonished by the new ways that Action 52 manages to fuck up. Can I get my giant penis foot over this ledge? God, this sprite is bad. Like, what is this? Oh, wait, even better. That, that looks even better right there. Oh, my God. Yeah, I can't get past this. This is the end of Fuzz Power, folks. I, I hope you enjoyed it while it lasted. Also, hold on, there was no uh, fall damage. There was no hitting the air and dying. That's a surprising new development for the Action 52 platformer. God damn it, fuck you, Fuzz Power. Shooting Gal, the game that doesn't begin or end. Because it isn't a fucking game. <laughs> you move left and right and shoot at various objects. I'm pretty sure there's no way to progress. Sometimes there's things to shoot. Most of the time, there's not things to shoot. And that's it. I will play this for, like, maybe two minutes. Just to see what types of things I get to shoot at. So far, they've all been birds. No, no, actually, I think there was, like, one that was a rabbit. Or, yeah, I guess we'll call that a rabbit. I don't know what that is. Oh, God, it actually does have different levels. Fuck, that means I have to play it. Oh, was that an alligator? Now, let's not, let's not, uh, forget, this game is still pointless. Because unless, like, right there when the enemy was, like, walking through the bottom wall, I don't know if that can actually damage you. If it can, then you might actually be able to die in this game. But I'm pretty sure you can't. Like, there's no way to not win other than to just get bored and turn it off. So, there's not much of a point for me to play this, but... We'll at least see how many levels it has. 
If it's more than like three, I think I'm gonna throw up. I don't. We'll, we'll see how far it goes. Like if if it, if I get past level three and it's still going, then I'm gonna just look up how many it has and probably not play it because the other ones at least. I mean, here let me pull them up again. Um, these two. We're not exactly the pinnacle of interesting material, but I could at least kind of make fun of them and, like, there was some challenge. This one, I'm not so sure. Why did I move from level 2 to 3? <sighs> 1950 points. So, is that an alligator? I think that's an alligator. Oh shit, you can actually die. But I I'm kind of surprised that they even included that. So is this just a reskin of Space Lobster then? And no, I don't remember the name of Space Lobster, so I'm calling it Space Lobster. Was that one Thrusters? No, I don't I don't really remember. It was generic space shooter number 46. 52 games, and 46 of them are space shooters. I mean, it, it's not too far off from that. What is it actually, like 20? Does this count as a space shooter? We're not in space, but we are shooting. And apparently they can still kill you, even though there's like a solid wall between the you and the enemies, and... I'm pretty sure they're not even really supposed to be enemies. I thought this was supposed to be, like, you go to the county fair and you shoot at, like, little targets that pop up. Oh, God, it's still going. This is, like, one of those shitty, like, shovelware games on the Wii where you point the remote and to, th like to throw a baseball, you have to, like, gesticulate with the nunchuck. Kids had a game like that that I think Vinny ended up playing in one of his shovelware showcases. It was it was some kind of Carnival Games thing, but it wasn't the one actually called Carnival Games. All I know is it was complete ass, and they played it a fair amount and always tried to get me to play it, and I never wanted to because it was really bad. But yeah, there was one where you had to, like, throw baseballs at pots. And that was literally what you did, is you pointed with the with the remote to, like, get the cursor on screen. And then you, like, shook the, like, shook the uh, nunchuck to throw the balls. And you could throw them extremely rapidly. Like, it was basically just a fire hose of baseballs. It was pretty good. And then there was the minigame where you had to unwrap the mummy. I forget how you even did that. I think you just shook the Wiimote to unwrap, because that's how you play every game, is you just shake something. Can, can we be done with this one? I think Lollipops was next. That's at least another stupid platformer along the lines of Fuzz Power. It's more like Bubblegum Rossi, though. So I think I said that if it had more than three stages, I was going to just stop. Um, I'm currently on stage five. If this has more than five stages, I think I'm going to just stop. Or at least look up how many there are. Because this is, this is boring as shit. I could continue talking about that shovelware game, but it wasn't very interesting either. It was just bad. I do enjoy how my sprite doesn't move his legs. Or anything. He just kind of shifts from side to side. How many arbitrary points do I have to get before I move on? Before I move on. How many times do I get to find a piece of cheese in the leg sand? Leg sand. I don't even know what that meant. Leg sand. 
When email comes to town, you know, you know, it's like a rainstorm in your browser. When email comes to town, you know, you know, it's like a Netscape hurricane. I think that's how that went. That was like a outtake. Oh, fucking level six. All right, I'm going to look up how many levels this has. There's at least seven. And that's enough I need, to, that's all I need to know to not give a shit. So, I'll put a save state anyway, just in case for some freaking reason I decide to go back to this. I don't know why I ever would. So, we're going to put it on state 6. And we're going to get the hell out of here, because this is extremely boring. Okay, lollipops. You'll see, immediately see what I mean when I said this is basically just bubblegum Rossi or rosy. <laughs> Always my favorite noise. <laughs> God. What is, is that just an explosion? Is that explosion from Bargo the Big Dip? Oh, we gotta jump up the ladder. And then do I die from fall damage? I hope I do. Oh, God. What the fuck is that death sprite? Hold on. I can't... I can't pause it. I'd have to pause the emulator, but I can't tell what that is. I think that's just... Spriting errors. Yeah. Pretty sure that's what that is. Oh, am I stuck? Okay. I recognize that rectangle enemy. That's in a... Time warp tickers, I think. And up there is just... That. I don't even know what to call that. Actually, I think this is this is less... Uh, this is less Bubblegum Rossi and more Manchester, though we haven't seen that one yet. The jumping sound effect in this game is not quite as glorious as the one in Manchester, but it's... it's up there. Okay, now here's the question. Do I go up and get stuck, or do I stay down and get stuck? I apparently chose right. Also, I think I, th I, think I was going to point out that the uh, things dangling from the ceiling look like the creepy lamps from the uh, spiral tower in Mario 3 that people used to think there was some conspiracy behind. Up, oh, up, oh, quality. Can, can we get up? Oh my god. I didn't want to risk jumping it, because I didn't think I'd... I think I, I figured I would fall too far. You know your game is shit when you worry that you fall too far and hit the air and die. And also, when they place enemies that you have no way of killing at the top of ladders that you're forced to climb. It's kind of sounding like frickin' underground again. Gotta get rid of the rectangle enemy. You never know what it'll, what it'll do. Just diagonal rectangle with a stupid face and two legs. I don't know why I specified the two legs. I'm not sure how many I expected it to have, but... Oh, oh, we found the tree. Shit, it's the tree. That's what we've been looking for all along. Oh. This is different music. It sounds like every other song from this game. Oh, shit. <laughs> It doesn't quite sound exactly like any other song that I've heard so far, but it's... I mean, obviously it's just the fact that it's the same instruments as all the other songs, but it's definitely evocative of other ones. Oh my god, that that death sprite. It, oh, oh, it's one of these fall through, the, fall through the floor, appear in the ceiling, and then die of fall damage type of games. Have we had one of those yet? Could you do that in Ooze? It's been... it's been like a lifetime since I've played Ooze, so I don't even remember.
Alright, so I see they've replaced the, uh, annoying, like, do you climb the ladder or not gameplay of level 1 with it's a straight line and there's occasionally pits. So yeah, it's- oh, oh, oh we've got- we've got vertical ascension. At least it actually has, like, a height that can be climbed, unlike fucking fuzz power. Oh, come on. This is all the way at the beginning. I don't remember when I last saved data. That's the problem, is I always get too cocky, because the game gets into a point where there's no challenge. <laughs> oh my god, stop. Also, can we take a minute and point out... I've not addressed this yet, but I mean, I'm, I'm obviously hitting stuff with a lollipop, but my character doesn't look like a child. I look like... Like, kind of this big, buff, like, Rambo-style dude, just wielding a lollipop. It's, it's pretty good. But, I don't know, I, th this pose that I'm in right now makes me think more Peter Pan and not Rambo, so... I, I could just be... like, a candy fairy. You know, candy fairy, that's a thing that exists. I mean, it might. I don't know. There are a lot of, uh... When I say a lot of, I mean one. But I was going to say there are a lot of uh, fairy-type Pokémon based on candy. And yeah, there's literally only one, unless I'm forgetting some. I'm counting, uh... Swirlix and Slurpuff as one Pokémon, because it's the same evolutionary line. Yes? What the shit is going on in this stage? It's got this extremely like imposing. Can you even call? Can you call this music? The screen is shaking. I'm terrified that there's going to be like some giant monster chasing me. But that would actually take programming. God, this is. What are they? What did they do? Is it? I feel like this has become a creepy pasta. Oh my god! Holy! Sh what is going on? Is the soundtrack glitching out, or is this intentional? Oh my god! These sound effects. This has got to be a glitchy soundtrack. This is amazing. <laughs> what the fuck? I have never heard of... Oh, is this the exit? I'm gonna just jump over it like a moron. Yeah. No, wait, no, no, that, that's just a portal back to level one. I think it keeps going. Oh, come on. I've got to see if this keeps going. This is the most incredible thing I've seen in Action 52. Let's just avoid the teleport back to level one, and what I'm assuming is the other teleport back to level one. So you can choose when the level is over. It's over, but only on your own terms. I, I definitely want to hear more of this fucking 56k modem exploding into Satan's asshole music. Up, oh, we've reached the end of the stage, and there's no way to scroll the screen back to the left, so we're just dead now. Oh my god. This is the freaking stuff of nightmares. 
Lollipops, what the fuck happened to you? Okay. Are we sure that wasn't the evil empire? No, okay, let's... Oh, more microscopic sprites. Forgot about this one. Can I fall at all without dying? Oh, surprisingly, yes. Well, all I know is I want that per- Oh, I guess I can't get the purple thing because it's getting guarded by whatever that is. There's what appears to be a vial of potion emitting lava. Okay. Level two. We have... Well, flickering, but... We have what appears to be people on f magic carpets. And I, I have no clue. Oh, there's Manchester. <laughs> There's no way to get up there, is there? I'm gonna make a mistake and save state here. Yeah, I'm dead. There's no way for me to get up there, is there? Maybe with perfect timing? I'm not sure how likely this is. Not very. Yeah, I don't think I can get up. Okay, so the trick is... Don't ever go down. <laughs> it, it, was that just a leak? Was that what that enemy was? I like the magic carpet. That is definitely just a leak at the bottom. Farfetched, Farfetched leak has just become an enemy sprite in this game. All right, save stating now. Oh, and I got killed by it. <coughs> oh, come on. All right, let's get back up before everything spawns. I, I, I like the collectibles that don't do anything. Just like the ones from, uh, Crazy Shuffle. Shit. <laughs> Don't save state nearly often enough. Oh, I forgot that kills me. So what do we call this type of game? This is another... It's basically just freaking Crybaby again, but with the tiny-ass sprites from the other one. Ah, oh, shit, I... You, you can't go down. Uh, I mean, there you literally can't go down. It's like, you can't go down without spawning enemies in places that you don't want them. But you have to in order to kill the enemies, so, like, what do you do? Could these have a few more pixels? Like, just a few? Maybe then I'd be able to tell what the hell I'm shooting at? Or collecting, for that matter? Other than just the essence of Manchester? Okay, level three. This one, it looks like I might actually be able to kill stuff because there's not as many places where I'd be cock-blocked by trying to go up a ladder. Okay, please. Please. Please let me down. Okay. Save stating. Oh. <laughs> I've made so many freaking references to Manchester throughout this entire series, when I finally get to it, it's going to be extremely disappointing, because it's not that interesting of a game. It's just th the jumping sound effect is the only thing you need to know about that game. I mean, it has bad design, like it, but that's not 
unusual for Action 52. So it's like, it's not necessarily any better or worse than most of the other games in this. Level 4. Gotta program in as many as we can for this one. This is a high quality game, folks. I like how there's different death animations for the animes. Some of them explode, and, well, most of them explode, but some of them, like, melt into a puddle. Like that one. No, that was another explosion. Where's the melting one? I think it's like the little purple people eaters that do it. Like this one. Let's see if he does. Come on. No? Oh, there we go. Do -do 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 -do. So, I think I'm supposed to be a ninja, but then why are there, like, Russian castle towers in the background? And why are there people on magic carpets? Like, what area of the world is this supposed to be? Not what country, what area of the world? Th that's how I'm gonna word that. Okay, I got run over by a leak. Always the best way to go. Why am I even getting those? There's no point. They don't do anything for me, other than make a stupid sound effect. But, I mean, I guess that's a good enough reason. I do like the sound effect. It's better than most of the other ones, like, BANG! Level 5, we're still going. And these ladders are randomly neon orange, and you can't go up them, but you can go down them. Good to know. Oh my god, why? You know, every once in a while, I really just have to stop and realize that I'm actually putting time and effort into playing this freaking game. It is kind of scary. I've also been playing it for over an hour. I should probably be done soon, but I'd like to at least finish up the page that I'm on. I think there's only one more, Storm Over the Desert, which, given my luck, is probably going to be like 19 levels. 19 levels of playing as a hot pink tank and avoiding giant Saddam Hussein. But sorry, that's spoilers. You don't want to know that yet. You don't want to hear about it now, but the moon. Please say this one's... Ugh. wasted so much time on freaking slashers. <clears throat> I mean, really, the biggest waste of time was shooting gallery, because there was no point. But I didn't spend that much time on that one. I think, I think slashers actively made me stupid. Like, th there was so little to do in that one, and yet it went on for so long. Active Enterprises actively making you stupider when you play their games. And by games, I mean game, because they've only made one. Well, they also... No, that's not true. They also made the Genesis version of Action 52. And, um, Cheetah Men 2, if that counts. So I guess if you want to count each individual and... Oh, shit. This looks like a bad time. If you want to count each individual entry of Action 52 as its own game, then between uh, this and the Genesis one... What did I just die from? <coughs> between those two, it's 104 games, plus Cheetah Men 2 is uh, 105. So they've probably made more games than most other uh, companies out there. 
pretty good for one scam artist and his four random college interns that he acquired. Except I'm not sure that most of these games were programmed as much as they were just kind of like created in a fever dream. Alright, um... Could this suck a little bit more? A am I just hosed? Their, their movement pattern is just perfectly aligned to, to piss me off. Yeah, I don't know if I can avoid that. Okay, I'll wait for the magic carpet guy to go left, and then I'll go up and run. Okay, yeah, you can make that. <sighs> Having to put thought into how to approach the enemies in this game, not... Does touching the side of the ladder kill you? It does. Okay. Why? Like, I mean, I, I just kind of accepted that for a second. I'm like, wait, does that kill? Oh, okay, it does. And then I'm like, wait, but why though? Oh, wait, shit, was that the end? That didn't, that was a... Ugh. That was a you beat the game and loop to the beginning level one, not a this is a game over level one, right? <laughs> Gotta get one more of those noises in. Kill the enemy. Okay, we're done. No more evil empire. Oh, we got sombreros. For, okay, we got two more to do, go through. Because I want to finish this. I want to finish this column. I don't care how long this video is. First, we're gonna walk down the street and uh, pick up sombrero sombreros while avoiding traffic. Oh sh. <sighs> Action 52, everyone. Luckily, I have an infinite number of bullets that I can just spam. Also, are these really sombreros? Are we sure that they're not wizard hats? Or, like... Mountains? Do -do 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 Hey, look, there's a guy on the road. I'm gonna shoot him because I don't like him. Wait, did I just shoot the sombrero? Can you do that? Do they just despawn? Well, the cars can run them over, apparently. No. No, I think they just despawn. Do they do anything? They don't give you points. They don't make a sound when you collect them. You might need to get a certain number to, like, progress the stage. I don't... I, I kind of doubt it, though. Okay, so... Let's, once again, take a second and analyze what's going on here. We've got the uh, background broccoli from Silver Sword. I'm a dude in a sombrero, uh, presumably. It might not even be. Um... So I'm just going to guess, like, some random Mexican... Uh, whatever. Oh, this game fucking sucks. <clears throat> See, I'm going to assume I'm just some, like, random Mexican, like, bandito. W walking down the middle of the street, despite having the ability to walk on the sidewalk or next to it... But no, I'm going to risk walking down the street where traffic comes from both sides. So it's a one-way street. We're collecting a bunch of, like, really shitty-looking hats that look like they're either made out of, like, newspaper or, like, wet toilet paper. Um, avoiding the traffic and then also either deciding to shoot or just ignore the other dudes on the side of the road, because they're not actually harming me in any way. I can kill them if I want, I just don't need to. God, this game is bad. I mean, it's not as bad as a lot of the other ones I've played, but... Okay, we're on level two. Well, the road has now been replaced with just an open field, okay. 
We are now collecting what appear to be like... What do you call those? It looks like the kind of hats that they wear in like Egypt and like the Middle East. Like not turbans, but I don't know. I don't know what you call those. Oh, there's just one that I can't get. Also, I've, I'm, I've, it took me a while, but I've now realized that when I shoot these people, they're turning into tombstones that say RIP. Which are the exact same color as the background behind them. I don't know if that's because they're transparent sprites, or just because they happen to be the same color. I like this little short loop of the song also. <laughs> Gotta get them hats. This game predicted TF2. Also, are these enemies running into me and dying? Yeah. Am I... Okay, so I do eventually die from that. I was starting to think that maybe they didn't program that in. I'm gonna guess that all I have to do is just get to the end of the stage. I'm pretty sure the hats and the enemies are completely inconsequential. I should still occasionally save state. But, uh... Yeah, this is a game. I mean, arguably. Okay, level three. And we're back to the town. There's no road. There might still be cars. I wouldn't rule that out. But I'm just going to keep going in a straight line and keep shooting, and we'll see how this goes. Up oh, the traffic's back, but only for a tiny section. Okay, who who, who paved that road, and why? Oh, this is. Oh, you can shoot. I, actually, no, I remember you. Can, I, you can shoot the cars. I just forgot about it. This is amazing. Oh. I didn't know the water would kill me, my bad. Brain cells slowly wasting away. It's okay, I don't need them. Fucking car. Oh, oh, I almost walked into the ocean. I think that time... I think I went further into the water the first time. Oh, wait, is it because I, like, stood in it for... Did I, like... Okay, now I've got to find out. Hold on. Also, I, like... Oh! Is this... What the fuck are the rules of this game? I don't actually want to find out. I was going to say, I like, can you touch the water a certain number of times before you die? But I don't even know. Don't care enough to find out. I'm just gonna keep walking straight and shooting. If anybody gets in my way, they'll get shot. The only thing I have to worry about them is them suddenly changing direction and hitting me from the side, which is probably gonna happen. Let's not kid ourselves. I also have to dodge the broccoli. Broccoli, 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 broccoli. I am hating everything about this game because it is kind of really shitty. I don't know what to say about it. Oh, I see the lake has invaded the town. Oh. And we're back to the road. And we're still avoiding... I think I got hit by that car.
I just have to dodge them. They're, they're fucking hell. I can get hit by a certain number. But yeah, if I stand here, I think I'll be okay. I don't know if the hitbox of the far right side would hit me. So, we gotta keep save state. Up, oh, road ended. Government ran out of money. Just had to stop the road. We can build random walls in the middle, though. I like this wall here. Just just right in place for this uh for this ten feet of road so that if you're driving along your ten feet of road, just suddenly wall. Like what? There were so many things wrong with that sentence. Ten feet of road, suddenly wall. Just I don't even fucking know. Of course, while I'm talking about this, the only thing I can think of is the stupid demented cartoon movie with the button that makes the brick wall spawn in the middle of the road that the cars crash into. And the crash yourself into a brick wall race from later in the movie. There are only seven clouds in the sky, which is an un unprecedented weather phenomenon that we have never seen the likes of before, but nevertheless, we are going to continue. Screen like scrolling downwards, or is am I getting like highway hypnosis? But I think the game is so bad that it's making me hallucinate. All right, save state. Are we sure this isn't storm over the desert? Because there's a lot of frickin' desert here. Okay, we're done. Speaking of storm over the desert, or storm over D, it's the only game to get a title screen. Huh? Oh, okay, sorry, we don't play as a pink tank, we shoot pink tanks. And I assume I just have to shoot a certain number of them to progress. And, yep, there's giant robot Saddam Hussein. He just shows up periodically. Good noises. Now, I seem to remember if you try to run over the people, you die. Is that is that true? Also, are they just stick figures holding guns? I think that's what those are. Come on, I want to try to run over the people. Saddam, why are you here? Why are you fucking huge? What is this game? Why was it made? <laughs> These are questions that we may never na know the answer to. Also, there was... Okay, here's the desert. The last one didn't have a whole lot of desert. It was more just, like, grassy field. See, with games like this, I'm I'm always worried that enemies are just going to spawn inside me, because I would not put it past that, like put the put it past this game for having that happen. Okay, here we go. No, I can run them over, unless this is like the last game where I eventually take damage from that. Can I hit the walls. They don't kill me. Okay, they're just there to be annoying. Also, I'm pretty sure that Saddam is invincible. And Imhotep is invisible. Don't get the two confused. So, um, this is a space shooter. It's not in space, but don't let that fool you. It's a space shooter. It's no different from the ones that are actually in space. In fact, they probably wouldn't even have to change the tank sprites. They could probably just replace the background with black and claim that it's just them being creative. 
This is a good layout here. Let's just take a few random blocks, put them in a couple clusters, two sections of the screen. It's a whole new level. Good. Oh, wait, and you can drive over this one. That, that block doesn't actually exist. The others do. That one is special, though. And also, uh, we've got... Okay, oh, wait, no. The rules of these blocks seem to not be consistent between different seconds. I am so confused right now. But yeah, I like the, uh, not quite moonwalking, but the, like, yeah, the, the ones that are strafing. Oh, there was one moonwalking back there. So these tanks can move from side to side. They can, uh, they can go backwards. Well, I, they should be able to go backwards, actually. That's not unusual. But, yeah. Of course, the uh, movement noise is always, always high quality. Oh, I got hit by giant Saddam. What am I going to do? Hopefully not die. Let me go wait down here in my little section where I, it's sometimes a corner, but usually not. I think I'm just clipping into it. Oh, level four. Can we clip into these? Yes. <laughs> Without much effort at all. What the fuck? So, um... The fact that this game has a title screen concerns me, because that means that they, like, cared about this one. And that means there's probably going to be a lot of levels. What are we on now? Four? Five? I think four. I, I fully expect there to be at least 19 levels. Okay, maybe not. Maybe, like... Six, but that's still too many. I like the hot pink tanks. That's the color that you want to make them. Because see, like, if you're if you're in the army, you're going to be expected to like, like you're going to train yourself to look for for things of a certain color and like. You're going to get used to, like, trying to spot stuff camouflage. Bright pink, though? You'll just look at that and be like, eh, whatever. It'll sneak up on ya. And yes, I did basically just rip off a Family Guy joke there. I, I was I was trying not to. The, the one where he's like, now see, you guys are idiots. They're going to be looking for army guys. And he's just in a clown outfit. Like, that, that, was in my, that was in my mind when I said that. I'm trying to be like, okay, how can I make this not sound like I'm ripping off that joke? But I did anyway, so I figured I might as well admit it. Hmm. Please, just, can I hit stuff? The problem is, everything moves way faster than I do, so there's no way to ever hit it before it disappears off the side of the screen. Like, why is that? Why do the other tanks move so much faster than me? Is that why they're, does the pink give them special powers? Is that even pink, or is it just red? It looks pink. I'm pretty sure that's pink. It's a very bright pink, but it's it's pink nonetheless. Oh, okay, all the enemies at once. Let's just spam them in here. Or just let them run into me. That also works. I mean, as long as I don't die, I'm okay with that. Okay, level five, and this time we've got either a river or, like, an aqueduct, and just a chocolate bar down here. Oh, the chocolate bar kills you. Does the aqueduct? Why?
Why does why? Is it is it supposed to be a building? And I'm not supposed to go into the building because it's a solid object? Then program it as a fucking solid object and don't just have it kill you. But, but not even on contact. You have to be in it for a few seconds first. That's amazing. Storm over the desert, people. Not desert storm. Gotta make it different. No, I want to hit that one. No, no, I want to hit that one. Okay. And Saddam's going for his jog. <laughs> Why? Why is he so much bigger than everything else? I mean, I guess it's so you can tell who it's supposed to be. But why does he just show up periodically, sometimes with clones? <laughs> just kind of runs to the side and disappears. You can't kill him, he's just there. Oh, there he is. Ran into me and disappeared. No explosion or anything. I mean, I wouldn't expect him to explode, but the people do. The little stick figure people, so... I don't know. I feel like I've gotten a decent number of kills on this level. It shouldn't take that much longer to progress. We just have to find out how many more dozens of levels are in this. And then we are going to be done for the day, and we can actually, uh... take a break from this stupidity. There's only uh, one page of games left after this. I don't remember how many good ones there are. Good, in quotes. I mean, obviously there's Cheetah Men. That's going to be the grand finale, but... Uh, we still haven't seen Manchester, which I've talked about a number of times. Um, there's both Beeps and Blips and Bits and Pieces, which are surprisingly two completely different games. There's... Um, Hambo. The time warp tickers, there's a good one. Oh god, Billy Bob is in there. I don't know how I'm gonna do Billy Bob. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna beat Billy Bob, because that game's fucking impossible, but I'll try it. I got through most of, uh, Micro Mike. <sighs> Remember when I said I had a lot of kills and this was gonna be over soon? That one was just luck. I'll just make an obnoxious noise for as long as possible. It'll help. Can the movement pattern of these tanks, like, make sense? So I can predict... So I can predict where they're going to show up. Oh, that guy's not going to spawn this time? Okay. I'm just trying to lead the game into spawning enemies here. I'm pretty sure it's completely random. I don't know how this game determines when to spawn stuff. It'd be kind of fascinating to find out. It's like the game just has this constantly growing number of, like, glitches that it logs, which rises by, like, 500 per second. And it looks at the glitch number to determine where to spawn stuff. I mean, that would that would that would indicate that they know where the glitches are happening and that they're actually paying attention to them. They're not fixing them, but they're at least counting them. I like how this one is sticking out of the left side of the screen, making part of the sprite disappear, and then just a straight, like one pixel wide line on the right. I'm gonna fucking fall asleep playing this game. This is so bad. It's still by far not the worst one I've played today. But that is not saying much. I don't know which one I would say is the worst. 
I'd say lollipops is probably the best because of the, uh, the fact that it degenerated into, like, whatever the hell that was. The worst, I'm still gonna probably go with Slashers. Slashers was really goddamn boring. Hit something! Okay. Please, just either let the game end or let me move on to the next stage. Preferably just let it end. Nope, can't get that shot off. That would be too... Level 6, okay. We've got two instant death candy bars. And we've got a bunch of boxes that I can merge with. And we've got tanks running into me and exploding. And we've got tanks appearing two inches from the edge of the screen and then disappearing before I can react. A lot of that, apparently. <laughs> I know it's not the correct war for this, but whatever. Anyone remember, uh... Well, I'm kind of doubting anybody does, but, uh... <clears throat> anybody remember the whole Gex 3 debacle? Where, um... Like, I was gonna say to anyone remember the video where I used that song, but, uh... As I'm sure, uh... Several of you know... Uh, Gex 3 has been like my white whale, where it's basically the game that just pr like refuses to go well anytime I try to record it. And so, uh, back in the day, it was like 2010, I was, uh, I like made it a point to have like interesting, uh, gimmicks for the, like, collect 100 coins missions in that, and, uh, there was one where I used the MASH music for, like, an intro, and I, uh, it was one of a few videos that got, uh, flagged for copyright, and it was the only one that got flagged, like, legitimately. The other ones were just completely full of shit. There was nothing wrong with them. And so, like, I couldn't really file a counterclaim for that one. I just let it be taken down. So... That is, uh, one of very few, like, videos that I actually put effort into that is no longer on the channel and I have no kind of backup for. The other ones being, like, uh, the voiceovers I did. I did, like, the, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged redub in the Homestar redub. Pretty sure those don't exist anywhere anymore. There's also the, like, original top 10 or top 15 moments, or however many it was. <clears throat> I don't know if that one's backed up anywhere. Oh well, such things happen. This is ass. <laughs> Turn left, two tanks spawn in weird locations. Or better yet, turn left, and then you just have a giant bug on your back. But that that episode was politically incorrect because a person of color did something to make a white person un, like in an unfortunate situation, so it was racist. Person of color. Okay, I'll shut up. Not only did I not make it clear what I was talking about at all... For the record, it was an episode of Doctor Who, but I was also just mit bitching about, uh, like, the Mark Reads, Mark Watches style of review again, which is basically be as politically correct as possible to the point where everything offends you. How long have I been fucking playing this game? Oh, fag. I'm 
having fun. No, I'm not actually having fun at all. I'm slowly dying. I can't tell if that ran into me and died or if I shot it. I think it ran into me and... If this isn't the last level, I'm going to scream. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to go. Come on. Just stand here and do this. Good thing I can only have one bullet on screen at once. That makes it so much more fun. Oh, oh, suddenly everything appears. But, but only once. I can never get it to happen again. Let's be done. Be diamonds! <laughs> I liked that one. It's still going. Why is it still going? Hmm. Why do tanks suddenly appear every time I look away? Probably because this game is shit, but, I mean, who am I to say? Level 7. This game is still going. Okay, I'm looking up how long this game is. I, I, I don't want to keep going with this shit. Okay, so I've discovered that there are 9 levels, and, um... The number of enemies you have to kill to get between each one keeps increasing. So, for this one, I need to kill 35, the next one I have to kill 40, the next one I have to kill 50. I so do not give a shit. So, this is going into the uh, pile of unfinished games. I, I hate to keep putting things in there, but... It's... it's really boring. And I, I don't want to keep doing it. So, of the ones that are in here, I really don't care that much about finishing either of these. This one, maybe, just because it's micro mic. This one, god no. Um, and then this one, I don't know, maybe. But yeah, this has been a long goddamn video. Way longer than I wanted it to be. But um, I guess I'm just trying to kind of make up for the like lack of content this month. So I don't know. But let's take a very quick look at what's going to be coming up later. If I can get out of here. Yeah, we've got a few quality ones in here. A few really, really awful ones, too, but a few that are, like, at least funny. I don't know if we'll get through this in two sections. Probably not. Cheetah Men's going to probably end up being, like, almost its own video anyway. But, uh, we're getting close. So, look forward to more shit.